What's up, everybody? It's Josh coming at you from Nerdvengers Tower. We got to talk about these new Obi Wan Kenobi leaks, and man, this is a weird one to me. Massive spoiler warning. I kind of want to emphasize this because even folks that have been following along with the leaks, like, oh, maybe we don't know this, maybe we don't know that. This is coming from Making Star Wars, and he's claiming in the reports of this that this is very solid stuff. This is very likely to actually happen in this show and uh, so therefore if you don't want to know the ending of the show because this has a lot to do with the ending of the show get on out of here i also do want to say that of course until i see the show i can't tell you how it's going to hit me when i watch it but like all the red flags in the world are going off when i read these leaks and it unfortunately seems like they're doing something with the kenobi show that i just really don't think they need to do and it really reminds me of back when we were talking about rise of skywalker leaks like the rise of skywalker leaks were, were leaks that we heard and we were just like whoa like this is bold kind of canon breaking stuff and, and it kind of seems weird that they're just gonna do this i don't know man this is i didn't necessarily even want to make this video but here we go okay so i'm just gonna kind of take you right into the the leaks that uh, uh i'm talking about the stuff that bothers me so this is coming from making star wars apparently the character of reva at some point in the show probably towards the end is going to figure it out. And when I say figure it out, she's gonna figure out what Kenobi was on Tatooine protecting for 10 years. She's gonna be sort of piecing this out throughout the show. It's gonna to come to a point where she figures it out. She's gonna figure out that Luke and Leia are the twin children of Anakin Skywalker, AKA Darth Vader. Darth Vader and Anakin going to have a wild, crazy fight. Sounds like it'll be really cool. Obi-Wan's going to emerge victorious in that fight, which is something that, you know, it's going to be really cool to see. But then he's going to go back to Tatooine only to discover Reva there having subdued Owen and his wife and with a red lightsaber out in front of Luke Skywalker, okay? Then we're going to get a flashback of Reva essentially explaining that she was one of the kids taken or rather uh, was taken into the Jedi Order and was forced to be a Sith by uh, Vader after Anakin came in and was in the temple. Like she's one of the kids that was in the Jedi Temple when Anakin came in there and went crazy on the younglings, okay? So we're going to get that sort of backstory and the show, or at least this this scene, is going to end with Reva not killing Luke Skywalker, obviously, and uh, she is not going to be able to do the thing that Vader did to her and walks away from Tatooine. Now, there is going to be another scene where she stands in front of Vader, explains what happened, and, you know, again, super spoilery stuff here, but apparently she lies and says that Kenobi was defeated and killed, and uh, Vader's going to be like, dude, I couldn't even beat Kenobi right now. Shut your damn mouth, and then he's going to kill her, okay? So the execution scene will probably be pretty cool, and with Reva dying, you do close the loop and the possibility of her explaining Luke and Leia to anybody else in the Empire, okay? Now, I want to sort of give a fair shake before I go in on why I absolutely hate this, because I hate it. I hate it, hate it, hate it. But to be fair, perhaps the performance from Moses Ingram, perhaps the way the story unfolds, I will get such an appreciation for the Reva character that I will understand and feel comfortable with her being interjected into a very important part of the canon and her significance will, will always be remembered. Maybe it's all roses, rainbows, friggin' fairy dust whatever man maybe it'll work i don't know and let me tell you i was already frustrated that reva a completely new character seemingly invented just for the show seemed to just be a character to show fans what it is like for the jedi and sith to like rip someone apart or what a person's perspective could actually be um you know going back and forth between the jedi and the sith now on the one hand, that's actually kind of an interesting story, but on the other, really f***ing presounding hand, it doesn't matter because it's not the place to do something like that in the Kenobi show. The Kenobi show should be about Kenobi. It should be completely solely focused on Kenobi and what happened to him and what happened to Anakin and the trauma between these two men. That's what the show should be. It needs to be boiled down focused on that. And instead, they invent a new character to do all this crazy stuff 
to sort of be this allegory for the pain and damage that the Sith and, and the Jedi can cause. You don't need that kind of a story in the Kenobi show. Kenobi himself is a perfect example of what can happen when you're listening to the Jedi. Anakin is the perfect example of what can happen when you're listening to the Jedi, and then you're pulling in the direction of the dark side, and the two of them together make up a perfect combination of characters to explore these ideas, these themes, and the terror and pain that can be caused by both light side and dark side users at once. The idea, the thought, of injecting this new character into this is already cringe. And then, at the very end of the show, you're going to have Reva be merciful after knowing, after figuring out the thing that Vader, the entire f***ing empire, can't figure out. She figures it out. She figures out the greatest secret that the Jedi Order had and, and, and it doesn't tell anybody, goes there alone. She has a scene uh, with Luke Skywalker. The, the idea that Luke Skywalker in any way, shape, or form is alive because of Reva or also because of the incompetence of Obi-Wan leaving him undefended there at the Lars homestead, I hate it. It's super cringe. Like, there's just a lot going on in this that, to me, is really canon-breaking. It's, again, just another, like, Lucasfilm thing where they're like, let's inject this new character right into the middle of this epic, important moment. Oh, well, you don't like Reva? Well, too bad, because Reva's the only reason that Luke Skywalker is even alive, you know? Oh, Reva, so so bold and noble. Freaking Reva is the reason that uh, Luke grows up and actually defeats uh, Vader, you know? So Luke Skywalker, yeah, I mean, I guess he's kind of a hero at uh, Revenge of the, uh, uh, the Return of the Jedi. But no, actually, you know who the real hero was? Reva! 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 And I know that I'm super toxic and ranting right now because it really does bother me this much. But as somebody who continues to try to defend Lucasfilm, where I'm like, no, yeah, they're misguided. They, they do things wrong. They, they miss often, but they're not like doing an actual agenda to try to push out certain kind of Star Wars or to ruin Star Wars for certain types of fans. Like somebody that has defended them against that type of uh, you know narrative out there. Something like this is like really freaking hard for me to like grapple with. Like, I'm like, what is this? Like, first of all, again, I'm going to sort of sound like a broken record here, but even the idea of Reva being in the show and, and, and being that sort of focal point for that kind of a conflict to me is stupid, but it's okay. Then the idea of her being injected into this just epically monumentally important part of star wars that you just invented to change the canon and give this character significance is so cringe like i i legitimately really really don't like it and so i'm gonna try to give it a fair shake i want to try to give the kenobi show a fair shake but how many more moments like this can i take as a fan i don't know ladies and gentlemen i'm getting really close to the end but of course that's just one man's opinion i'm sure you have an opinion and you should put it in the comment section like this video if you liked it and shut your mouth i'll see you later